All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for our unboxing, unboxing video, video number 32. 32. Yeah, we got some stuff here. We'll yep. be opening them up. Mm -hmm. Thank you all so much in advance for sending us the stuff and the yes. letters. We love Thank reading you, you guys' letters. Mm -hmm. uh, we do these once a month on the 15th. That's of right. Every month. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, check out the P.O. box in the description. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we'll check out your stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, just no consumables. Uh, right, yes. Good yes. remembering that. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. But we love to hear your letters. So even if you don't want to send us anything, you know, like the physical variety, just hearing from you is wonderful. That's awesome. Yeah. And as always, we start with the letters. So let's mm -hmm. get one of our letter openers, uh, Jacob. Which one would you like? Uh, I still like or the dragon Katsu Katsu. Yes, exactly. This one leaves a bad taste. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm still a little bit cold to uh, that uh, yeah. final two uh, seasons, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay, now one of these letters is one where we're only going to read uh, one of them. Oh. And it has two letters in one. I see. Double then, prizes. Yeah. Oh! We got Russell again. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, okay. So, dear Caleb and Jacob, hi, my name is Russell. Hello, Russell. I last wrote a letter to you guys well over a year ago. I remember. I remember. So, I thought it would be nice to pick the pen back up and say hello to my favorite reaction channel again. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hello, hello. Then I remembered that you had major problems reading my, le my previous letters due to my atrocious handwriting. So I decided to spare you that pain and type this one out instead. It's my atrocious reading capacity. That's, that's all it is as well. Well, yeah. thank you for yeah, the consideration. Yeah. This letter may be kind of random and jump all over with my rambling because I had no real plan as I wrote this. It also got... To it also totally got away from me. See, the, the reading issue is where it's at. It's not, mm -hmm. not your writing. Uh, so I'm sorry for the excessive length, but hopefully you still get some enjoyment from reading this ridiculous letter. The I'm ridiculous sure ones are the best. Mm -hmm. First off, thought I'd give a bit of backstory, since you probably don't remember my first letter from way back when. Oh. I have been a dedicated follower of your channel for a while now, and first found you guys through your Haikyuu reactions. Oh, Haikyuu. <laughs> yes. I was not in a great space back then, and had lost a lot of my enjoyment in life due, due to a variety of difficulties like work stress and mental health challenges. I know what that's like, yeah, yeah. Watching your reactions not only reignited my passion for both Haikyuu and volleyball as a former high school player, but also for life in general. Yes, yes, ah, oh, so good. Your personal anecdotes, detailed analysis, and extremely thoughtful discussions on the show's roots and passion became a vessel for me to regain my own, and there is no way that I can thank you enough for that. Oh. Dude, go for it. That's Thank just, you. Oh, it's awesome. Even now, I will still go back and rewatch your Haikyuu reactions just to re-experience that pure joy of slowly adopting a horde of passionate volleyball boys and a couple girls. Thanks to that combination of beautiful storytelling and genius character building and transcendence beyond the medium of volleyball through speaking to the universal themes of drive, passion, and connection. God, those are the three, like, three of my, like, favorite <laughs> things in general. Like, ugh, this whole Haikyuu is so good. All right, so that's my story in a nutshell. Now, I faithfully follow all of your updates and have gotten priceless amounts of enjoyment out of your reactions over the years. Oh, th thank you, yes. Seriously, I am just so grateful that you guys are there every week to bring a smile to my face and when I've had a tough day or raise interesting discussion points when I've been craving some anime storytelling appreciation or just be hyped about a show that it deserves the hype. Yeah, there's a lot of those. I wanted to highlight some of your reactions that I have either been very excited about recently or that... Uh, or that have managed to take a special place in my heart beside Haikyuu, of course. Hmm. Sorry if this is a bit all over the place, but here it goes. I loved your reactions to B-Stars. We did, too. <laughs> yeah, that show was so good. That show was just <sighs> chef's kiss. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Every minute of those hour-plus discussions was br brilliant and so thought-provoking. This is the epitome of SOS Bros analysis that I live for, and I was super excited over your total 180 on Louie. Yep, yeah, yep, that we were was... too. That was so strong. Going oh from my absolutely hating him, to demanding that he better not be dead after that season end cliffhanger. Seriously, he really better be okay. Oh man. Yeah, I, I think that Louis oh. is is an example of just how strong the individual characters in B Stars are. Mm -hmm. But he is probably the strongest in terms of character development by far yeah. in, in B-Stars. With a close second, I would say, um, well, not really a close second, no. L uh, you know, Lagoshi in general went through a huge amount of development mm -hmm. as well. But 
Oh yeah. my god. Lugoshi, I feel like, is like the kind of character that you can expect in a show like Beastars, and it's done really, really well. Right, and you can kind of see where his development goes in mm-hmm. that regard without even seeing it. You can kind of predict it. Right, it's archetypal in a lot of ways. Right, but, but Louis... Louis... <laughs> That's a that's oh a God. that's a surprise fun ride. Yes. Next is Maiden Abyss. Oh. Yeah. Oh boy, let's <laughs> descend into this, why don't we? Yeah. Man, that sudden twist that none of us were prepared for come episode 9 still gets me to this day. Yep. <sighs> what a creative show. And so darn heartbreaking with Nanachi and Mitty. Yeah, I I still remember my suffering this... having to edit that. Yeah, this guy, this guy had to edit that. Himself, because I definitely wasn't helping him, and like no, we we each edited our own specific shows around right. that time. Yeah, but and uh, um, that you got was the, a double lucky length. Straw. That was a double length episode, which mm-hmm. was a rare thing back then. Yep. Um, other than I think actually Game of Thrones, but um, the editing stuff we were using was just YouTube Studio Editor, right? Which was really bad. Mm-hmm. So I had to rewatch. Yep. The scenes mm-hmm. over and over. Like, and over and over again. He he would just come out of his room just just exhausted. Thousand yard stare, just like Jacob. I, I need a break. Yep. <sighs> yeah. Man, that. Oh yeah. yeah hold on. I, I lost my spot. Um, I haven't watched the sequel movie yet, but I. But here's to hoping that Bondrude meets a terrible, terribly painful end somehow. Yeah. 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 He definitely deserves it. Kimetsu no Yaiba was such a gift, bro. The animation the soccer guy <laughs> and the through the roof mha were the hype levels made my rewatch experience with you guys so much better yeah that, that was good fun march comes in like a lion all right you, yeah. you know you know mm-hmm. you know here's, where it's a, here's, at. here's a goat of anime right here this show deserves to flout normal grammar rules and stand alone as a sentence because my god what a powerful and stunning piece of art it is i think that march comes in like a lion is a is an anime that like everyone should watch. It's so good. And yet I know a lot of people won't watch it. Right, because it, in some ways, I get that it isn't for everyone. Not everyone yeah. likes those kinds of shows, yep. but man, yep. is it good. Oh man. Okay. Simply beautiful, beautiful storytelling. Your personal connections to the themes and stories about how your own experiences were a uh, wonderful additional were a wonderful addition to each episode discussion. Going through Ray's slow healing journey, Shimada's struggles, seriously, the poor guy deserves a win to combat all that hair loss. <laughs> yeah. All of Kyoko's fascinating and terrifying appearances, that episode exploring her relationship with Goto is still a major highlight for me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that good? And Hina's bullying storyline. Oh, the tears and such raw emotions I have rarely felt together with you was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it was brutal. Oh, finally, we have Assassination Classroom. I thought there was no possible way to make me like middle of the work week Wednesdays. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> They've discovered our methods, Jacob. Exactly. Oh, no. <laughs> the actual joke of it is, is that Wednesdays is actually the show that I think we expect to get the biggest boost in terms of views because YouTube actually... Um, uh, you are the most successful by posting on Wednesday in terms of the YouTube algorithm. So, little tip for just people there in little general. behind the curtain look at algorithm chan. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, but these reactions, along with B stars, initially thanks to that infamous poll. Uh-huh, yes. Uh, actually, make me excited for Wednesdays. Going along for this incredible ride with you guys is such a joy, and I am loving that torturous wait as we get closer to such and such. Amazing moments, episodes week by week. Ah, I like that kind of censor yourself, spoiler free, such and such kind of mm-hmm. thing. Uh, nicely done. Yeah. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the joy you continue to bring into my life. Thank you for so sure. much. Yeah. Okay, so next, how are you two doing? I hope that you are both managing to stay safe and enjoy life fully despite all the craziness that has hit us through 2020. Seriously, I'm West Coast like you guys, and the fire smoke have been no joke. Yeah, it, it's been a bit ridiculous, but uh, thankfully, because of where we're situated, there's a good amount of water. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, um, that rain that came through really The rain that out. came through really, yeah, like, cleared it up. We literally had air filters on the way to, like, you know, do that whole thing where you take the bungee cord and connect them to the fan, but they yep. showed up after the smoke had cleared. Right. Uh, Caleb, have you been able to play any Ultimate during the pandemic, or have you been as starved for some good old-fashioned team sports as I have been this year? I have played none. I have played no Ultimate Frisbee since March. 
I hate it. I'm dying. Please yeah. send help. Jacob, are you already working on a sequel to Battle Lines, or is there perhaps a new writing project you're focusing on? It is not a sequel to Battle Lines. Mm. It is indeed a new writing project. And uh -huh. I'm I still haven't fully decided what kind of style I want to use for it. Mm, okay. Because I kind of go back and forth on that a little bit, but yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. How have you guys been coping in general with pandemic life? I've had some difficulty trying to adjust to not seeing friends and being cooped up at home so much, so I'm always curious how others are handling things. <sighs> uh, we're, we're here. We're, we're surviving. We're, we're here. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not easy. Yeah. I'm not sure if this kind of stuff is awkward to ask in a letter, but I almost feel like I've gotten to know you guys as actual friends thanks to the countless hours I've spent listening to your thoughts and videos. Yeah, I, I totally understand where that's at. There are a couple YouTubers where I, I feel like I have that connection with as well, even though it's the awkward thing of where they don't really know me mm -hmm. necessarily. But uh, these questions aren't awkward at all. I, I think that you know we'll we'll you know we'll decide what we're comfortable sharing. You know, of, of course. Right. But um, specifically, the idea of of how we've been doing with regards to the pandemic and stuff like that, I am socially starved in the uh, personal kind of connection that comes when mm -hmm. you see someone, you know, actually physically. Right. Otherwise, I'm doing okay, but uh, yeah, it's rough. Yeah, I'm. I I would like to say that I'm starved in a way that I didn't know I could be because you know, very much an introvert, but. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's been weird because because of YouTube, yeah. you know, working from home that was a thing we were already doing. So you know, socializing didn't really happen much if you know we didn't make it happen. And right. introvert, you know, I didn't end up doing it a lot. So mm -hmm. I, I feel like it's been a, a uniquely weird experience because it was something that was already a problem for me before the pandemic started. Yeah. So I had practice with it, but that also meant that I had a, uh, I was already sick of it. Yeah, so, um, for sure. Yeah. Uh, I honestly just want to hear more from you guys and check in on life's happenings. Anyways, feel free to ignore this bit if I made things weird, or go ahead and give the general life update or whatever you feel like sharing. No yeah. worries, man. No worries at all. Jumping to my final topic. I wanted to give you some anime recommendations. Mm. I picked these titles because I'm... <coughs> because I am almost certain these will never get your attention through conventional means, mostly because they either fly, uh, either flew under the radar and never got noticed, or from genres that fall outside your usual norm, although I'd be very happy to be proven wrong. All right, so here we go. First off is Given. Bam! We had that in a poll recently. Mm -hmm. Given is a show that I have uh, been getting some good recommendations from. Uh, I am not one to seek out BL necessarily, uh -huh. but I have a couple friends that are really into BL and tell me when there's one that they think I would actually like really, really like. And like from what you know we got of like just general feedback on it, it seems like it's something that you know would is really good. Mm -hmm. This is a BL, aka Shonen Ai, aka Boys Love anime, which is why so many people immediately write it off. This dismissal based solely on it having a romance between boys is just so sad because it really is such a beautiful story. Yeah, that, that's always a, a shame. Mm -hmm. uh, the character writing is top notch with every character's development feeling quite organic and realistic. The show's comedy is also pure gold with so many hilariously clever jokes. The plot is fairly simple, so the entire show is based in character-centric storytelling, which it does exceedingly well. All the character dynamics are full of nuance, and the show tackles many deep themes in a refreshingly realistic manner while still keeping strong emotional drama. That is cool. a really tough thing to balance in general, but one of the things that you mentioned here that I think is kind of key to that is that the plot is fairly simple which means in some ways you get that much needed time that doesn't mm -hmm. really come in a lot of plot driven anime to get into the nuances of the character dynamics. Yeah. So, good stuff. Um the story centered around abandoned passion for music, so there's also a killer soundtrack and great use of music throughout the show. Oh. Mm. Cool. Yeah, yeah. That was the part I thought that would make make you mm -hmm. really excited. Finally, it's also a nice and short show with just 11 episodes, so maybe it could make it into that one core Tuesday slot someday. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm, interesting. Second is Card Captor Sakura for another major leap in genre. That is you may old have heard one. of it, or perhaps the absolutely butchered version that circulated in the US as Card Captors, since it's one of the iconic magical girl shows, ranking alongside anime like Sailor Moon as a genre defining classic with a, lacti with a lasting impact on anime. It was such a phenomenon that it even displaced Pokemon in viewership ratings when they were airing. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's Card Captor crazy. Sakura is something that I have a couple of friends that are really into it and i have like almost no interest in checking it out mm -hmm. except for the fact that it's so renowned like that style uh -huh. of show is something that i'm like yeah it not doesn't my necessarily thing. Be, seem like it would be mm -hmm. my thing but I'm, I'm looking forward to getting shilled here the story has a unique turning the page here premise where we follow an elementary school girl named sakura who is tasked with capturing magical cards that are out of control wreaking havoc in her town hence the title as she gains control of her own magic powers this show is one of the very first madhouse shows that brought the studio to fame and their oh. consistently great animation is all over the show despite it being from 1998 hey i'm no stranger to good animation that's you know, from 1998. <laughs> it honestly still holds up pretty well against modern shows in the animation department. This show follows a sort of monster of the week format, but builds excellent character development, great humor, and just so many good feelings into every episode. Seriously, this show is the most wholesome thing that you will ever see in your life, and it is simply impossible to watch an episode without getting the biggest damn grin on your face. I know it's the longest of long shots for a reaction show, but I will still hope. This anime takes the concept of cute feel good and distills it into something beyond words, and I sincerely hope you get the chance to experience that someday. Okay. Yeah. Consider yeah. it shelled. Yeah. Wholesome feel good stuff. That's that's always a good good place to start mm -hmm. when you're shelling something. And I liked that you did kind of preface this with the monster of the week format, so we don't go in expecting some kind of grand overarching narrative right. necessarily right out the gate. Mm -hmm. And that is, I would say an unfortunate just suffering of most TV shows in general, that they have to follow an episodic format where they're mm -hmm. trying to do some character-driven storytelling. Especially when they're from times before, like online streaming and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Third is Banana Fish. In contrast to its rather bizarre title, which gets an in-show explanation, this show is an utterly captivating and gritty tale of gang warfare, overcoming trauma, and fighting for survival in a cruel and corrupt world. Yes, I have very, very hard shills that have come my way regarding Banana Fish. Same. And uh, I'm, I'm very excited to eventually watch it. The show is set in the criminal underbelly scene of New York and follows a young gang leader named Ash as he meets a Japanese student. They both become entangled in a sprawling plot of complex mysteries, emotional stakes, and heart-racing action. As you may have picked up from these descriptions, the show is not for the faint of heart. It is very dark, deals directly with traumatic subject matter like death and abuse, and does not shy away from describing the realistic horrors of its setting and story. This anime will have you on the edge of your seat in suspense, ranting at the world for its cruelty, crying over the pain of the wonderful characters, and utterly unable to look away as the plot unfolds at a breakneck pace. Yeah, I think the the main thing that has actually attracted me to the story primarily, weirdly enough, is I've heard people feel like they needed to give me a lot of like prefaces and trigger uh -huh. warnings and a lot of things like, regarding how intense it can get. Right. And I'm I was recommending like, oh, this, but that, that, you that's know. something that makes me now go like, okay, now I now I definitely want to go check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, seriously, if you are able to watch the first two episodes and then just stop, I will be shocked. It is a prime example of phenomenal storytelling, masterfully weaving together a, des a disparate plot threads with. Superbly animated action, engrossing characters, and constantly increasing stakes that never give you a chance to catch your breath, just like the characters. Hey, you're good at this shilling thing here, yeah. Russell. Fourth is Ukuku Furukabute, a.k.a. Big Windup. This is an older, pre-2010, baseball sports anime which just never got popular for unknown reasons. Huh. Okay. All right. Now, with Haikyuu as a benchmark, my standards for a sports anime are ridiculously high. I can safely say that this show is the only other sports anime I have seen that I would rank near Haikyuu's level, except for Run With The Wind, which has already been recommended plenty. Yes, 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 I know, I know. I want to watch Run With The Wind so badly. I can't wait to talk to people about running and what a spiritual experience it can be once you start to like it. It's beautiful. <laughs> anyway, that aside, Ukiku Furukabute is an interesting genre combination, being a seinen sports anime rather than the ubiquitous shonen sports combination. Oh. The story has a more mature feel despite the setting still being in high school. 
wait. Interesting. That's very strange. Yeah, so what makes it seinen? I feel like the characters are more nuanced. The relationship dynamics have a greater authenticity, and the entire show is just more grounded in reality, making it extremely relatable. It still does game hype very well, but everything just feels so realistic that it's impossible to not feel exactly what the characters are feeling throughout every episode. The author of the manga on which this story is based has a degree in sports psychology and their brilliant grasp on sports mentality, dealing with anxiety, genuine team building, and every aspect of holistically understa understanding a baseball team shines through in this show's writing. Well, then I'm awesome. definitely going to like it because I had my, God, seven years in baseball, and there are a lot of, I think it was six years, actually, but there are a lot of very specific things that you get in a baseball kind of sports team dynamic that you don't get in other sports. Because mm -hmm. in some ways, baseball is really clunky. Yeah, it's it a has, weird game flow. Right. It has a very start-stop, start-stop game flow where you don't mirror the other team in a lot of ways, which other sports you almost always are mirrored in some way. So mm -hmm. it's interesting. Um uh, Let's see, blah, 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 blah. I have never played baseball in my life, but halfway through the first season, this anime had me studying the rules of baseball and looking up real matches to see different plays and breaking balls in real life. I didn't even know what a breaking ball was until I watched it. I hey, hey, still hey, don't hey, hey. know. <laughs> you don't know? Oh, okay. Yeah. So breaking ball is basically an example of some element of a ball that's curving. So when you throw the ball to the catcher, mm -hmm. you're the pitcher, and you basically want the ball to move from where you originally threw it to a specific direction. It's either going to break outside or inside. Inside is it moving towards the batter. And outside is it moving away from the batter. Gotcha. Most people break the ball on a horizontal axis. There are throws that can do both vertical and horizontal. And that is where you get the, like, the classic curveball. There's a couple other things in there. But... Once you get into like what it means just to be a pitcher in baseball and you're at like the janky level, not like the majors level where you kind of need to throw like the four key, you know, pitches, um, you can get into some really dumb, clever little tactics with regards to just the game, the mini game that happens between mm -hmm. the batter, pitcher and catcher. It's, okay. it's really cool. This anime has it all. Amazing characters with some truly beautiful arcs of development. Extreme hype and excitement over matches. An embracing of the technical side of play and training that shows real deep thought on the sport's realism. I really feel like this training aspect is something that isn't gotten into as much as I would want in the sports anime that we've been watching. Mm -hmm. um, Haikyuu gets into it on the purpose of teaching the audience really well what like the, how volleyball works what vo how volleyball works so that when they show the game they don't need to have as much side commentary regarding mm -hmm. what the plays are that people are doing it still happens but then there are times where they go and just have something happen and you go oh right that's the thing that they showed in the training arc uh-huh um Hajime Nuipo kind of gets into the whole thing of you know nutrition weight training physical act like the physical capabilities of mm -hmm. you know the, the boxers yeah, but and stuff but it kind of faded into the background after like bit. the early section where it's like okay you understand what kind of training they do right they're still it's doing less it. exciting to do that but i really feel like there are internal struggles that characters go through when they go into the training and the like, like mm -hmm. literally training their body, not right. their mind yeah. and how to well, do the game that yeah. you can get into that is just really good. We got some of that fairly recently with Epo. We did, and it was it was a fantastic yeah. uh, segment of the story. Um, a great soundtrack and superb voice acting, and one of the best team-centric stories of deep, of group growth and friendship united by passion since Karasuno. I simply cannot praise this anime enough, and I really hope you get the chance to enjoy it someday. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. So it's called... Um, uh, what was it called? Uh, uh, Ukiku Furukabute. Right. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I'm sorry for getting this carried away with these recommendations. I just really wanted to share these shows with you because I genuinely believed that you both would love all of these. Each of these four shows is probably a long shot for reaction, but one can dream, right? Exactly. Keep dreaming, man. Keep dreaming. Yeah. Because I, I really feel like at least one of these has a pretty decent shot, actually. Especially um, the, the first two, uh, specifically. Um, 
Each of these four shows, yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. You are probably constantly inundated with my uh, with requests and recommendations, but I hope I was able to communicate at least a small part of my passion for these shows to make them stand out a tiny bit. Yes. In some ways, we are inundated, but in that respect, it's also just given us a high tolerance to just being like, yeah, cool, we're mm -hmm. excited to hear a new right. recommendation. We don't get annoyed by it really. Mm -hmm. easily like it's something where we're just like oh okay cool and one of the things that was really helpful here is you you showed why you loved it without going into like spoiler territory right and trying to do it in a way that would communicate to us specifically why we might love it yeah you know because that's that is that is so much more helpful than just this show is really good please watch it you yeah. know exactly Okay, I probably went way overboard with this letter, so sorry if the length was a bit annoying. Despite never having met aside these from these letters, I genuinely believe that you two are some of the most thoughtful and kind-hearted people out there. Dude, you're so kind. Thank you Too so much, kind. Russell. This, this is awesome. Um, uh, I've seen evidence of this throughout every video of yours I've ever watched, and nothing will convince me otherwise. The way you talk about difficult and controversial topics with such respects and well thought out conversations is truly amazing, and I'm in awe of how you bring such such strong empathy for so many beloved characters and stories. I really feel like the 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 kind of the area of, of empathy specifically has been something that's been kind of fun to have myself like really stretched in some ways with regards to just oh, yeah. anime in general. And because I think the main lesson the channel has taught me is just to be open to experience and express all of the emotions that I have, mm -hmm. it's giving me more empathy for myself in a weird oh, way. Oh, yeah, no. Like I, allowing myself I, to I, I be I know what you just, mean. you know, fully just mm -hmm. out there and not holding anything back. Yeah. You know. Uh Anyway, this is why I got way too comfortable talking to you guys. It's all good, dude. No worries so at all. So sorry again for rambling so much. I just want to end this with one more heartfelt thank you. You guys bring so much joy into my life, so I hope this letter can give you at least the tiniest fraction of that joy back in return. All the best, Russell. Oh, thank oh, you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Uh. Finally, uh, P.S. Gotta end with some more haiku. Mm. My last letter's postscript was actually regarding this same topic, but I wanted to let you know that the haiku drama CDs are actually canon and feature the real voice actors from the show. Yes, we did get that passed along to us, but it, it is really cool. I believe they are based on omake and extra chapters from the manga. So all of those gotcha. glorious and ridiculous slice of life scenarios with our favorite boys having a Christmas party or discussing Oikawa's teammate nicknames or making quirky t-shirts are all canon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you've mentioned them at some point, but I would highly recommend tracking them all down if you haven't already done so, because what could be better than more time with our favorite volleyball boys? I have some really good friends in the Haikyuu fandom uh -huh, who like made me check, really check them out and and Haikyuu like, stuff that we have missed because it's not in the the anime is making me so excited to eventually go and read the manga in its entirety and just see how much like mm -hmm. just didn't ended up getting put in. Uh, PPS, a random question I forgot to ask. Do you think you'll ever do another SOS Bros rate your waifu's husbandos videos? Oh. They were so much fun and it would be pretty interesting to see how your opinions may have changed or to make some brand new opinions. Well, so uh <sighs> Maybe? Potentially? I, I mean, I think in the... some ways it would be cool to do a. <laughs> would we do it? A reacting to our own, like, oh, Rate Your Wife oh, oh, video no. where we basically go back and look through them and be like, ugh, what was this cursed That's take? called recycling. Keeping it green, everybody. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> thank you so much Those for the letter. Those were fun Russell. videos to make. Yes, and thank you for the letter. It was yeah. very sweet. Yeah, that was, that was a good time and stuff. Okay, okay, so this is not one of the ones I believe that we're supposed to. Um, actually, hold on. I'm trying to see if I can um, tell. Yeah, which like one which is the one, one has the instructions or whatever for. Hmm. Okay, well, I think at the very least, um, this one is. Uh, yeah, this one is going to be. Uh, Okay. Uh, it's not going to be it. This one could be it. All right. So so you can do this one. This one is see. a pretty seriously packaged. Uh, it uh, is indeed. Here. What do we Look got? Look at what these, Caleb. Oh, Whoa. my God. There's a lot of them, too. Yes. Oh, these are, these so are amazing. Good. These Me. are amazing. <sighs> Letter time. Okay. All right. So... Yeah, uh, you can you can show those off. They are they are absolutely wonderful. Suki, I love how it's like 
First, Sugamon. First letter. Let's talk about Haikyuu. Second letter. Tadashi Yamaguchi. Haikyuu. If you haven't seen Haikyuu, it's Azi. awesome. Azi! Nishinoya! Yeah. And, and Dad, Dad G. G. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, wait. Watch me. Wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a great pun. So, uh, she put watch me on here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. But then mm -hmm. on the other side. <laughs> oh, I, I, what is that? What what could that be described uh, as? Some sort of banana pear grapes. Some sort of edible thing in a in a woven C, C. Uh, These device are of containers holding. Containers of vitamin C. Hmm. So obviously there's a lot of them, which would be like C, 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 C. So it's like react to the Code Geass movie sequel that's alternate right. universe. Yes, that's what that's it is. What's I think that's what's being referred to here. Definitely what it is. There is it's no a, other it's a very convoluted way to say interpretation it, but, for right, that. Right, exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Dear Caleb and Jacob, Jess here once again, worshiper of meat, cultured individual, yes. and as of more recently, an ace of adventurers. Ah, and yes. And owls. Mm -hmm. My list of titles is becoming quite impressive. <laughs> I think I'll add them to my CV, or <laughs> resume if you prefer. Hmm. Yes. Not a long letter this time. Mainly because, let's face it, not a huge amount has happened to anyone in the few months since I wrote last. And yeah, also that's I've got- true. Yep, yep, mm-hmm. And also I've got my anime playlist on in the background as I'm writing it and keep pausing to, to dramatically dance or do air drums so I'll be here all day if I'm not careful. Mm. I understand that feeling. Mm -hmm. My main purpose for sending this is to complete my set of little haiku yes. drawings that I sent yes. last time. They're so good! Delivery and packaging were a bit all over the place, but we got there in the end. Mm -hmm. So here you are. Hopefully, if I remember correctly, I sent Hinata, Kageyama, and Tanaka last time. I think that's oh, right, yeah. and Kuro. So the rest here should complete Karasuno. If nothing else, it's kept me busy over the past few months and giving, given me something to be working on for myself. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Speaking of Haikyuu, I've no idea when this will arrive to you. I suppose you'll open it mid-October at the earliest, so part two of season four will definitely have started by then. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember if you started Azuken last time I wrote, but either way, it's been super fun to see your reactions. Such a fun little show. I had such a, I, I had quite a strange pattern when watching it for the first time in that I kept forgetting to catch up for a few weeks at a time and then w watching about three episodes at once. I really enjoyed the show, but there was definitely quite a lot of information and animation jargon thrown at us in quick succession. So That's I sometimes true. struggled to keep it all in my brain by the time I'd come around to to my next watching spree. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Mm -hmm. Watching your reactions each week has been a better pace for my brain to, di to digest the information and has been a nice little routine to sit down and eat dinner whilst watching your video the past few Sundays. Thank you. Awesome. Really refreshing to see an anime about girls in high school where they've got lanky proportions, zero boob emphasis, and deep voices who are just huge nerds and like drawing stuff. It, me, strong relate. That is awesome. <laughs> yes, yeah. so true. The, I, God, I love the character designs in Azekin so yes. much. It's almost like it's about drawing and such. <laughs> uh, brrr. You'll be well on your way into whatever is replacing it by now, but the poll is still up as I'm writing this, so I, I suppose we'll see. Looks like good old Run With The Wind may miss out this time, but patience prevails. It will. <laughs> it will prevail. <laughs> it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Winks to camera. Hmm. Well played. Yes, well played. indeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I'll wrap up now. All the best to you both and your family in this odd time we're living in. Season two of Dr. Stone needs to hurry up and arrive so we can have some more apocalypse survival tips. That's true. But for now, we've learned if you see a guy with hair resembling some kind of wacky vegetable, be sure to befriend him. He'll sort things out. Indeed. If this person is unavailable, anyone that can ninja grab a goose mid-flight and turn it into lunch is probably a good <laughs> second choice. <laughs> well said. Oh my god. <laughs> Keep being you, Jess. Uh, hmm, it did turn out kind of long. Oh, well, no, oh, not well, at was, all. That was, that was fantastic. Thank, thank you, you so much, Jess. Thank you, Jess. That was Love great. Love getting your letters. And um, thank you for the anime recommendation. We definitely got what you meant by yes. it. Yes, message and received. Message received, indeed. I just, oh, boy, this yep. is so great and stuff. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, man. I, I, 
like I almost want to immediately gift this one to someone. I have a friend who's really oh, yeah. like a big fan of this trash boy here. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> of all of the uh, of all the looks on here, I like that none of them but Daichi have their actual uniform on because you know he's the captain, so he like wears oh. it all the time. But the the looks of the characters, Sukishima is just is just perfect. It's it's my favorite one by far. They're all so good. They're all so good. Yes. Okay. All right, next letter. On to the next one. I need the knife. Knife, knife. All right. This might be it. Yeah, because there's multiple pieces. In oh, here. yeah. Looks like it. For Jacob, read after the letter. Okay. Okay. Don't open yet. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool. I like all the instructions. This is great. Um. Uh, okay, so there is a number ordering to this. Uh, Looks like it says three. Portion here, yep, so that's three. So then this is one and two, I believe. Oh, yes. Yep. And then two will be on the back. Awesome. Okay, awesome. All right, let's uh, just doubly make sure that also that this is not the one they're wanting us to read um uh off the video off the video yeah there was one um <laughs> wrote on the back of the envelope okay so this is not the one cool okay so it's not the one okay cool, cool. gotcha Dear Semblance of Sanity, it's me again, Annie Flowers. Hello again. Hello. I'm glad my other letter reached you last month and that you liked the keychains and the Oikawa sticker I sent you. Yes, awesome. Oikawa in the, I think it was a little maid little yes. outfit. That was, that was hilarious. Sadly, unless anything changes till I send you this letter, there won't be a gift from me this time. That's partly because I'm too busy with another drawing project and partly because I lack motivation to draw anything else. Motivation has been my greatest enemy lately. It's, it's, yeah, I feel you. Mm -hmm. Like, ugh, it's hitting us all. It's, it's, it's ugh. And oh my God. There's nothing wrong with just drawing, you know, Oikawa in a maid outfit on repeat, you know? That's true. That, that works yeah. too. Yeah. This letter is probably useless to you since it holds no gifts, but I want to write it away. You shut up. No, it's not useless. I'm super glad to get this letter. Yeah. Ha, ha. I recently managed to catch up to your MHA and HiQ reactions and decided to finally watch Attack on Titan Season 2 and your reactions to it. Even rewatched <laughs> Season 1 and got extremely angry at Reiner when Annie shows remorse for Marco's death and he pretty much tells her to suck it up. Like, dude, his death was your fault. At least show some sympathy. Yeah. Yeah. That was, mm -hmm. oh, that was, a, there that are, was a thing. There are so many things in Attack on Titan where it's just like, wait, that was there the whole time? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Like, yeah. sorry, I started ranting. Watching your reactions to season two also made me realize that Caleb really wants the 104th to die. <laughs> 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 oh my god. I was kind of sad that throughout, uh, kind of sad though that episodes 11 and 12 aren't available in my country, which kind of sucks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rough. Those two were impossible with copyright mm -hmm. and stuff. But I believe, weirdly enough, and I'm, I'm totally kind of okay with this, I think someone has, I think actually multiple channels have re uploaded them because <laughs> they're pretty <laughs> legendary reactions. But um, I think if you just search them on YouTube, you, you can might probably find them. Find them, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I was kind of sad. Oh yeah, yeah. After watching Attack on Titan, I started watching your Assassination Classroom and Noragami reactions, oh. which, by the way, made me really happy. Oh, I'm glad, especially Noragami. Uh, uh, especially Noragami doesn't have as many uh, quality YouTube reactions. Gotcha. Oh, go gotcha. Yeah, I think that's because of copyright. Noragami is one that was like an instant like no go for. Um, Regards to copyright stuff, yeah. But uh, as I'm writing this, you just uploaded episode 13 of Assassination Classroom, which is one of my favorite episodes. Your reaction was everything I hoped for. Nagisa is one of my favorite characters together with Karma. I love the duality of his character and can't wait till you see more of him over time. Talking about favorite characters, Yukine is my favorite Noragami character. Uh, I mean, is Yukine's, that a surprise? Yukine is wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Seeing you piece together his past from those brief memory flashes was really fascinating. I tried piecing it together myself, 
when watching the show for the first time, but failed miserably. I can't wait to see your thoughts on his future character development. Another thing of yours that I started watching are your One Piece readings. But I only watched as far as I got in the anime, which currently is the middle of volume 26. That's still a lot of anime, right? That's like, yeah. like a ton. Now allow me to gush over your amazing dramatic reading because I literally wrote down bullet points of things I wanted to mention. Oh my God. Oh my Thank God, you. that's basically like the rest of the letter here. This is, oh my God, this is gonna make Ugh. me cry. So I, I kind of accidentally skim read the, oh, a bunch yeah. of it. First, you two crying when Belmare died made me oddly happy. Nami's arc is my favorite arc, so seeing someone get emotional over the same thing that made me cry is kind of great. Yeah, I, was, God, I love really Belmare good. and that whole thing and everything. Yeah. Just, I won't let them hear that. <laughs> Yeah, because they are my daughters. Like yeah, that. So good. But by the way, guys, there might be some light One Piece spoilers coming up. Just very light ones. But, yeah. But, but yeah, it was also cool that you two watched the anime version of the Nami Luffy scene on stream. It's one of mm. my favorite scenes. That yeah. it's a good scene. That's powerful. Yeah. Second, Caleb's sad whale noises were amazing, <laughs> heart wrenching, and hilarious at the same time. It gave me new appreciation for the Laboon mini arc. Laboon! Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh man, here we go. Talking about sad voices, Caleb's sad Nami voice is amazing as well. Uh, yeah. Third, I really wanted to give Caleb a hug when he started crying in Chopper's backstory part. This is the part I skim read to. Oh boy. Yep. Yep. He's my son. Oh, oh my god. You looked like a kicked puppy, Caleb. Yeah, guys. One Piece has some really strong backstory yeah. power. Like, I understand if the anime is daunting, mm -hmm. you know? But man it's really good and in the manga you know, in the manga it hits really hard at specific like, points oh man yeah oh uh, fourth i just want to mention that splitting the party in volume 19 actually worked out for them <gasps> inconceivable that's right inconceivable yeah there have actually been points in one piece where splitting the party worked Fifth, Jacob, your analysis of One Piece's relation to dreams and how those who dream seem to attract each other in Volume 21 was absolutely amazing and mind-blowing. Also, you did an amazing job at voicing Mr. Crocodile. Well, thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, Crocodile has become kind of the quintessential foundation voice for good villains that you I, do. I loved and his descent really into one. sort of like, not madness, but just... Frustration. Frustration. Yeah. <laughs> And lastly, I really wanted to hug you both when you started crying during Vivi's goodbye to the Straw Hats. Man, that yep. that scene. Yep. That scene. That's a scene I, that'll mess you up. Like ooh. literally, I just I just brought it up. You know, when like in in a D and D group, someone was going through One Piece and they finished the Alabaster arc. I'm like, ooh, how'd you how'd you handle the Vivi goodbye, right? And other people, not them, were just like. They were like, why Why would you bring that up? And they were still, like, frustrated. Like, an hour later, they were like, damn it. Like, no. <laughs> oh, man. That scene is so good. It's so strong, yeah. So I think that was enough gushing over your One Piece readings. Okay. You two really surprised me with how good your readings are. I actually never watched manga readings before, so I was surprised at how much fun it was. I'm glad you had fun. I didn't know that was even really that much of a thing. <laughs> like, in general. Yeah. But the funny thing is that uh, Berserk, when we did it, we thought that that would be like a problem if we like did the oh, voices uh -huh. as much. And then if you watch when we did those, over the course of time we get more and more comfortable with it. Yeah. In yep. general, uh -huh. and we were reading the entire thing. And now in One Piece, we're not only Just... reading the entire thing out loud, We'll sometimes ad lib. We'll freaking like ad lib things. We'll do the voices like, yeah. like as consistently as we can. Which is hard for it's one hard piece. at points. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I ran out of pretty paper. So now we have to live with boring normal paper. Oh no, no problem. No problem. Uh, on a completely unrelated note, you two said you play Dungeons and Dragons, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we do. Yes, we do. Indeed. I'm currently to trying to. I'm currently trying to build my own mini campaign for my RPG group, which is both funny and frightening since I have zero experience with being a DM and equally little experience with D&D. Do you two have any tips? Oh my god, do we have do. tips? So, oh my god. Uh, there there are actually a few like things that we've I think we've mentioned in some podcasts, mm -hmm. although I think that might be more along the, the, the playing side of it That's and stuff. True. Yeah. But um 
the the thing that I would say is that the fact that you have zero experience with uh, DMing and and D and D, I'd say that is not a bad thing. Correct. Like, yep. and in fact, given that that you do and you're the DM, I'm guessing that probably not a lot of your players do either. That could be true. Yeah. Like, it could be wrong, but but and if that's the case, excellent. Because mm-hmm. then one. The players never know whether you're making mistakes unless you tell them, right? right so true. you can just, they might think you have it all planned out and you're actually making it up as you go. And that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Mm-hmm. And if they haven't played D&D before, then even better. Yeah. Then even better, right? Mm-hmm. So just have fun and right. try to help them have fun and it'll it'll be great. Yeah. Uh, I would say tips with a new DM specifically is that you are not trying to get everything perfect Yes, but you are trying to give your experience to give the players like that that sweet experience. They go, I want to do that again tomorrow. Yeah, and the best way to do that personally is to say yes as often as you can to your players. Mm, now, right, there are times where you have to say no to the players, but if you're willing, let them know with some caveats how their request can be made into a yes, basically mm-hmm. from you. Give them basically some some hoops to jump through, some like specific right. things to make sure that when they request that thing that might be a bit ridiculous, you go, yeah, yeah, you can do that if you do this, this, this. Mm-hmm. You, and can, then you can give it a shot. It might work. You can you know? give it a shot. Exactly. Yeah. Trying to do that will, will help, I would say, their experience a lot more, which then makes your experience that much better. Right. And then also... Um, with regards to just general tips that I would say are, are, are really good, like specifically, you don't have to constantly be talking. That is very true. One yes. of the things that is a little bit of a, um, a a thing I've noticed with DMs is that they can turn into the frenetic panic DM, which mm. is where if there's any silence, they just have to quickly fill it and say a thing to move everything along. That is stressful, let me tell you. I, I would not recommend that. I would say just personally, Ask some questions of your players and then sit and wait until they answer. Sure. Because like, it is not something where you have to constantly be pushing, pushing, pushing mm-hmm. them in order to make something happen. And kind of in a similar vein to that, you don't necessarily have to make this grand epic story. The story that yep. the players make just by the weird things they do is yep. excellent material to, to make Absolutely. whatever story you want. The biggest way that I see a lot of DMs go wrong is when they have a story that's so important to them because it's so awesome that the players don't have much of a role anymore, sure. right? They're just sort of along for the ride, and that doesn't make as, for as fun of a player experience. Yep. So a lot of times, winging it can be better. Yep. Like, And then what they choose to have happen because of what they do, there you go. Mm-hmm. And then you're just sort of the sounding board and the, the consequences, you know? Exactly. Uh, well, I think this letter turned out long enough. To bring this letter to a close, here is my anime recommendation of the day. Uh, um, Mechakusity Actors. I believe I said that right. I might have butchered that, but we'll, we'll look it up. I think so, yeah. A small unknown anime with only 12 episodes. Here is a spoiler-free synopsis of the plot and some spoiler-free side information. This is the story of teenagers cursed by fate, the story of monsters and heroes, and most importantly, the story of August 15th. Mechaku City Actors is part of something commonly known as Kagero Project, a series of songs, manga, light novels, and one spin-off short movie. All of them huh. tell the same story, but differently. Is this like a alternate okay. universe time loop thing on August 15th or something? I'm very curious. Don't worry, the anime stands on its own. Okay. Hmm. What might interest you is that it was animated by the same studio that animated the Monogatari series. Oh. Shaft. Okay. okay. And while the visual style is kind of similar to Monogatari, I personally like uh, MC Actor's style way more. Gotcha, with the visuals. Okay. Well, that's all for this letter. Till my next letter, Anony Flowers. Thank, thank you. you so thank much. Thank you, thank you. I love getting letters for you. Those are so yeah. awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. Letters right. are just the best part of this, Jacob. They so really good. are. All right, so first gift coming in here. You want to okay. open this yeah. one. I will put these off to the side so we have room. Okay. All right. Oh, wait, headbands? Hold on. Hold on. Joseph Joestar? I think so. I think so. 
Uh, I can't read it. Is a cosplay thing on there? I, I but... do believe. And this is a this is a this is a big headband. Now I I forget which way was right side up or. I think it's this way. This way? Yeah. All right. I'm not sure, but. Yeah. Thank you so much. For yes, this. thank you. Whoever thank this you. was, let us know in the uh, in the comments. Mm hmm. All right. She's a. <laughs> all right, all right. Next one here. Let's get into this. Oh, it has a little tear strip thing. This is. Yes, it does. Bird. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Can you hold on to these? Oh uh, yeah. To Caleb and Jacob. Okay, we got a letter to open Thank you. first. Nothing on the back of the envelopes. This isn't that one there. Hmm. Hello, Caleb and Jacob. I love Haikyuu and One Piece for a long time. I started One Piece when I was in my teens, so I've been following it for over 15 years. Wow. Thank you for the dramatic readings of One Piece. I look forward to it every week. I love your reaction and discussion of Haikyuu that it made me re-watch and reread read Haikyuu all over again. Oh, thanks. I watched the first episode of Haikyuu back when it was just finishing airing season one. I've loved it ever since then. The hype for season two and three was so good. When season three was finished, I got impatient waiting, so I started reading the manga. Mm. Don't worry, I won't spoil anything for you. Unlike you guys, I have to wait four years after season three, so you can imagine my excitement when they finally aired season four. The match between Karasuno and Inarizaki is very good, but you know what other match is super hype? Not gonna tell you. You have to wait and find out. Oh my god. This is my first time sending a package to a YouTuber. Included in the package are two Haikyuu notepads and two One Piece notepads. One for each of you, so you guys don't have to fight over it. I love stationery and I love anime, so I figured I'd combine the two. Enjoy. Thank you. In case it's not obvious, the notepads are handmade from folding bubbles. Oh my god! Wow. Oh my god, I gotta check this out. This is gonna be so cool. Handmade notepads. Look at this uh, this awesome wrapping here, too. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Very, very nicely wrapped. Okay. Oh, oh cool. That, so here's the Haikyuu ones, and here's the One Piece ones. Oh, oh I love show, it. Show, show them off so yeah. see it. Yeah. Hey, Look at that. Thank Look at that. you. That's so sweet. Oh, and inside oh. there's there's little stickers of of yeah. uh, things that are drawn in. These are oh man. So it's like wanted, dead or alive, Monkey D. Luffy, yep. Roanor Zoro. Well, and Nami. Like, like bits of the characters. Soga King. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> Frankie, Brooke, and then Luffy and loops again. That's that's awesome. That's, oh my gosh, that is that's great. So cool. Thank you so I much. I want to see the Haikyuu ones trade, trade here. Yeah, yeah, I want to see, I want to see the Soga King. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Daichi with the dream. Sugawara! Yes. <laughs> Nishinoya! Ah, oh, uh, Sugishima! God. Yes, at that moment, episode oh, that's four, right. season yes. three! And, and the wanted poster for Sanjo, Moikai! of course. Moikai! Yes, Asi cheering out for one more serve! Ah. <laughs> uh, Oh, that's good. And the jump float serve from Tanashi. Wow, thank, thank you so you much. Thank you so much for that. Floating bubbles, that's awesome. Oh my thank god. Thank you. All right, next one here. This one oh, will be yours. Uh, Caleb, here. that thing there, is that, would that be something we would open now or open later? Oh, whoops. Because it forgot said, to open this. Don't open yet. I know, but that might just be. We I think don't... it was, right. Yeah. Don't open it until we've read the letter. Oh, we I, forgot I to so, yeah. uh, forgot to open this. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> what is it? Oh, oh, that's cool. Thank you. Thank you. I don't yeah. know what. It what it is, I think you'd hang it from like, uh, from like, uh, from something or other. That was really cute. Well, so we'll maybe, we'll maybe it's like a sort with a bead. Maybe it'll become more clear when we go back to the, to the letter. Like, uh, no, I, I, I know what letter it was, it was associated with, but I, I don't think it has. 
any, okay. any correlation that's uh, that's obvious there. Well, thank you. But yeah, thank you for that. Okay, so that's yours. All right. You got the mm-hmm. knife, knife yeah, yeah. Or actually, no. There's a peel thing here. Oh, there is. Yeah, oh, you just nice. Oh yeah. T-shirts. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. So. Yes. Oh yeah. The free oh, plays yeah. defense fours. I so. Mm. Nice, nice. Now, uh, Which one is yours? This is this is an extra large. This is a large. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah they, they, you they, know us so well. They, they, they yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Very cool. Very you, can, cool. you can you can be the the alliance and all that. I will definitely rep the empire. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Yeah, this is so cool. Thank you. Thank you. So we got to put them on though. Oh, that's right. right. That's mean... right. And yeah, Legend of the Galactic Heroes T-shirts with Joe's JoJo's headbands. <laughs> it's perfect. Truly, this is a cultured. Cultured, uh, uh, oh a set god. of YouTubers here. Oh my god. Okay, so if you haven't um, watched Legend of the Galactic Heroes, skip to like you know, thirty seconds ahead. But oh, uh, oh no. But don't, so don't do it. A lot of people haven't seen it, dude. No, no, just skip to thirty seconds ahead. It'll be fine. Okay. It'll just All be right. a quick spoiler. I'll start counting. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, when uh, when Reinhardt uh, sees Kierheis die, <laughs> she's. <laughs> No. Okay. Mm-mm. Yeah, that was it. That was it. That was that was too much build up for not that great of a yeah joke. But the point is, yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. These are mm-hmm. really cool. This is great. It's also great. Is there anime shirts really without necessarily exactly. knowing that they're anime shirts? Yep. So you can wear them in public, and then the people that are cultured <laughs> will just be like, mm. Mm. Exactly. All right, so let's open this next one here from Bezos Kun. See what we got here. Oh, 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 oh my! Wait, JoJo's. Here's a little something to help with JoJo withdrawal and the tank replacement for SD manga. Oh. P.S. This might be too early to ask, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on Tanya and Dororo after reading their manga novel from Nicholas Wilhelm. Oh. Thank you, Nicholas. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. And. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Part two Battle Tendency. Wait. Hirohiko. Araki. Oh, that's right. Yes, because nice. Joseph was in the. The, the backstory where he's in the plane and everything. Right, right. Yep. But mm-hmm. uh, look at this. Look at this hard bag and everything. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's open it up. <laughs> look at Young and Joseph. Yeah. <laughs> look at him. Okay. Oh, my God. I have to ask. I, we need to check, though, Ooh, Caleb. Ooh, in color. We need to check. Mm-hmm. Is Tequila Joseph in here? Of course he is. Of like, I, I don't know if this would necessarily be that volume, but, but if it is... <laughs> In terms of like how early in the right, story like, it is, yeah. If it would, if it would cover that bit. Um. Let's see. Well, this is him headed to the desert uh, uh, spot here. Oh. Um. Should be around this part. Maybe I skipped ahead. Maybe I maybe I skipped ahead. Well, if we need to look into it in depth, we can always do that <laughs> at another point. But I, oh god, that would be so that would be so amazing. I mean, I, I would just be surprised if because uh, there were if they weren't because there were multiple there were multiple points right where where it could have been because there was. There was oh, they were no, we didn't go far enough. We didn't go far enough. Okay. Here we go! Yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, and then a roundhouse kick. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh my god, yes. <laughs> Whoa! Don't shoot! Okay, I won't move! <laughs> Oh, oh that's, man, that's, 
that's wonderful. So how it. far does it go, actually? That is a good question. So, oh, it goes to the part where they have the whole... Uh, uh, where the three of them wake up? Where the three of them wake up, basically. Yeah, right as they're about to wake up. Oh, it's right when we meet uh, uh, Zeppeli. Okay, so is this... Um, this is Caesar here? Yeah, I think so. Dang, Caesar looks like... He looks good. Pretty intense here. It's awesome. All right, cool. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much for that. Oh, yeah. that is awesome. Um, thoughts on those uh, those mangas? If anything, I didn't really check out anything with the Tanya one, but I've checked out the, the Dororo one a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it being so vastly different, just, just in general, was really like something else. If anything, I kind of saw a lot more like even more so, how it was clearly before Berserk. Oh, uh huh. And then Berserk was clearly after this. Like even more so yeah. than uh, how the anime that we got recently was kind of a an homage, if you will, like mm -hmm. a, like a, a remake, remake kind of a situation. Yeah, because yeah. it abridged a bit of things, but it also kind of created a lot of like non-canon like mm -hmm. things, like original things. And I will also just let you know, light novels in general take time so we might not necessarily be able to keep up with all the stuff that gets sent right you know um yeah. the the whole the whole like stereotype of the person that has a bunch of books like then it's like ah yes i i i really do need to read these you know but you're not reading all of them of many things exactly exactly yeah. so yeah <laughs> okay all right one more left mm-hmm um, all right, and it is taped shut here. So, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> believe. Yes. Okay. Nope. 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 That's right. Yeah, gotta, gotta gotta cut around that. Gotta get the little nook there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'll just run it along this side just to be sure. Might as well. Okay. Oh, oh, dude. Okay. Give it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Okay, so, um, hmm. As far as uh, old classics go, uh huh. You know, JoJo's and now this. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, Hell man. Yeah. Oh, and it's like a collector's item almost. It's like plastic wrapped and everything. So, uh, Cowboy, Cowboy Bebop. Bebop it's a, it's a, you know, a show that you might have heard of. Yeah, you know, maybe, maybe. It's, it's not really popular. It's kind of under Zoom the radar. There now, Jacob. Oh, they might okay. Yeah, that's actually place. that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In case you didn't know, this is one of the goats with regards to anime. Just, yeah. Just in general. If you haven't heard of Cowboy Bebop before, yeah. you should probably watch it. Yeah. Um, the dub is like one of the best dubs out there yeah, of all it, time. Yeah. It was really ahead of its time. This like, is awesome. Yeah, check it out. It's yeah. good. Oh, so cool, so cool. But thank you so much for sending this to us. Yeah. I really, really am interested to see how some of the, uh, some of my favorite parts that got animated would be basically framed in a in a manga uh -huh. kind of style format. Yeah, because I, because Cowboy Bebop is one of those ones where I always figured like, oh, yeah, I guess it, like, I never knew, I never figured whether it actually wasn't an anime original or not, because I could see it being adapted from a manga, but then at the same right. time, it was so ahead of its time that I could also see it being an original work, mm -hmm. especially with how it ends. Yeah. So, I w like, you know, <laughs> that's, that's something that I've always wondered, but I never actually bothered to, like, check for to be sure, right. you know? Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. This is, this is cool. Very thank cool. you. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. Thank you so very much. Yeah. Okay. Let us know in the comments who sent this to us because that's 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 fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh. But, yeah. Y'all, thank, thank you so much for sending us all this stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I can't wait to to check out the, the Battle Tendency the manga. That that looks really cool and stuff. And that will have cool notepads for when we Indeed. are, like, doing our uh, our haiku reactions But, but you see, Caleb, uh, <laughs> the Nishinoya blocked it with his foot six times, in fact, over the course of the series. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'll just put, like, all my love for Asahi and just a support <laughs> and encouragement thing there. Jacob or Caleb, how's your 
notes going, mm -hmm, yes, yeah, you're a good right. boy, Asahi, and you're a fantastic ace. Don't doubt yourself, Exactly. My man. No, Yamaguchi, you have pushed through your doubts and fears this many times and made this many service aces. Mm -hmm. You yes. are a good server, damn it. Yeah. Yes, yes. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Guys, everyone. if you want to send us stuff, check out the description for our P.O. box. Mm -hmm. Remember, non-consumables only. Right. And, yeah. Love you guys. Take care. We'll see you all in the next one, every 15th of every month. But mm -hmm. until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.